What's going on guys? We're back here on Destiny and I wanted to share with you the loot I picked up from all three of my characters by completing Crota's End and completing it with the challenge mode on all three of the characters as well. Very, very giving I would have to say as far as this raid, as far as giving out gear. So first thing we're going to be taking a look at is on my warlock. So my warlock over here, first off let's just take a look at some of the weapons. So for challenge mode, I'll tell you what, first off, first thing right off the bat, challenge mode. Every time I complete challenge mode I got an adept weapon on all of my characters. So that's Deathsinger challenge and Crow challenge. So for my warlock I ended up getting the Oversoul Edict as well as the Word of Crow to both the adept versions. I also ended up picking up the standard legendary version of the Fang of Ear U. And on top of that I also got the Swordbreaker. So first off Warlock, four weapons. Let's take a look at the armor. So going over here, only set of armor I picked up was actually the boots. I picked up the Death Singles Herald, and then I also picked up the uh, Warlock Bond. Now on top of that, I also got this shader right here that I'm wearing. I noticed it in my Postmaster after completing Crota, so I think it dropped from that. The Dance of Bones. Uh, definitely a new shader, never seen it before. You guys let me know, have you guys ever gotten this? I think this is new for Crota this year. It's called the Dance of Bones. Again, only have the boots for right now on the Warlock. But uh, I'm liking the shader. It looks pretty good with, I think, this set of gear. Well, I'm working with the Iron Lord's gear right here. But with that being said, let's jump right over to my Hunter. And on my Hunter, we had some more of the same good luck. Again, we completed both challenge modes, both Deathsinger and Crota. So let's take a look at the Adept weapons we got. I got another Oversoul Edict and another Word of Crota. So we're doubling up on those. We also got a legendary version of the Oversoul Edict. That's going to become Infusion Fuel. Infusion Fuel. I see no reason or no real reason to keep these legendary versions around uh, now that I got the Adept versions. They're great weapons, but I'm only going to use the Adept version, so that's going to go right into another weapon. Then, as far as the rest of the weapons, well, that was it. That was the only weapons I got to drop on my Hunter. You know, the legendary weapons were not dropping as frequently on any of my characters. So, let's go take a look at the armor. Got the helmet to drop from Crota, also got the gauntlets to drop, and again, got the uh, cloak. So three out of the five armor pieces I did get to drop for my Titan. Again, got the cloak, all gauntlets, and the helmet. But the best is yet to come. Let's take a look at my Titan. And my Titan is where the good drops really came in. So first off, weapons, as you can see right here, got my adept version of the Abyss Defiant. And I also got the Fang of Ear U to drop as far as well as the uh, Adept version. So that's it. So that's it. That's all four of the Adept primary weapons I can drop from Crota's End. Got them all. I got two versions of the Word of Crota, two versions of the Abyss Defiant. And on my Titan, we got the Fang of Ear U and the Abyss Defiant. And uh, anybody that's sneaking a peek, you can also see right here Necrochasm. If you haven't seen that video, I put that out yesterday. If you're interested in seeing how to get that, make sure you check that video out. I will make sure to link it at the end of this video. But that's the only weapons I ended up getting on my Titan. Now where I really got lucky, armor. I got the helmet. I got the gauntlets. I did not get the chest, but I got the boots and I got the mark. So the only thing I'm missing is the chest piece. Other than that, I, have, I will have full raid armor on my Titan for Crota's End, all I need again is the chest piece, got every other piece that's needed. But as you can see, I don't have any of the ornaments applied, and getting into that, I do have two ornaments that drop for my Warlock, two ornaments that drop for my Hunter, one from both completing the Death Singer challenge and completing the Crota challenge. But on my Titan here, that's the first time I completed it, I actually got one from completing it with Death Singer, and then two from completing it with Crota. So I'm holding on to these things because I really like the look of the King's Fall armor and that's what I'm probably going to be applying the ornaments to first. But that was it as far as drops from the uh, 
Pro to Zen this week, guys. Really got lucky, especially on my Titan. And can't wait to get into Vault of Glass next week, see what drops there. I'm probably going to jump back into Pro to Zen to see if I complete some of the armor sets. So if you guys are interested in jumping into Pro to Zen, let me know. We can jump in and try to complete that. Now, for all of you guys that are sticking around to the end of this video, we got a little bit of bonus footage for you. I'm going to open up. I have my three Treasure of Ages packages. I haven't, I haven't opened any of them this week. I got them all on my Titan right here. We're going to open all of them right now live. Uh, let me make sure I got room. Well, I don't have room on my helmets. Let me, uh, let me go turn in these engrams real quick. So in case I get a helmet or a gauntlet to drop, we will make sure that we see all that. Wow, I got a lot of engrams here to turn in. Just spam those through, and let's delete them all real quick. All right, they're all gone, so let's open these up. We're going to open them up real fast, all three of them. We'll inspect the gear we get. So first up, what do we got? A new shader. And next up, what do we have? What's here? What's this? Uh, Mark of the Bright Hope. So that's from the dawning. And lastly, what do we get? Clown Horn and more Silver Dust. So, doesn't look like we got anything too exciting, unfortunately. Any of the new stuff. But let's just take a quick look in here. Nope, nothing good. Uh, let's take a quick look at what we did get here. We got the dawning titan mark uh no other gear other than that we ended up getting a new horn clown horn i think i already had that and a new shader so gassed let's take a look at this shader i have no idea what it looks like wow that's very green looks pretty good with the crota's red uh crota's end raid gear well that was a little disappointing guys we didn't get anything good from those packages but I do appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video. Maybe next week we'll get some better loot from those Treasure of the Ages packages. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Hit that like button if you're new here. Make sure, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.